It is the 5th of the 8th, 2012, and this is today's climate change update. Let's go ahead and get started on SOT.net. Jamaica gets rain as tropical storm Ernesto passes to the south. And we've got two tropical storms roaring down through the Caribbean right now. Port Royal, Jamaica. Fishermen near Jamaica's capital tied wooden skiffs down along a rocky shore on Sunday as poorly organized tropical storm Ernesto spun past the Caribbean country's southern coast on a path expected to carry it by Honduras and uh, across the Yucatan Peninsula in, into the Gulf of Mexico. Of course, uh, we've got some big storms in the area. A uh, sudden deep sinkhole shocks Tennessee town. On the afternoon of July 19th, uh, Fairview resident Trish Parker wanted to get her yard cut before uh, the predicted rain later that evening generated another grass growth spurt. Uh, imagine the shock when Trish and her husband Dean walked outside the next morning to discover what was generated in their side yard as a supersized sinkhole. And they actually had some cave explorers go down and explore this thing. And uh, it's huge. <laughs> Pretty interesting read, actually. Uh, Tropical Storm Florence joins Ernesto in the Atlantic. And again, we've got uh, two big storms coming up on the southeast United States, or the Gulf of Mexico right now. Typhoon toll rises as 300,000 are evacuated across Asia. Uh, the death toll from Typhoon uh, SAOLA has risen to 42 in the Philippines and Taiwan, and 300 people have been evacuated in China as uh, Typhoon Darmi makes landfall. And again, more storms. Louisiana Bayou Corn evacuated. Swamp gas turns into monster sinkhole. Now you remember I've been reporting uh, where they had gas emissions coming up through the swamps and they were testing it to see if it was flammable. Uh, well, comes to, uh, come to find out, uh, the governor declared a state of emergency on Friday in Assumption, Paris after officials ordered an immediate evacuation of Bayou Corn area because of slurry area appeared to be expanding. Uh, the fear of the unknown prompted the evacuation order. Uh, the fear of it possibly compromising either nearby pipelines or cavern storage areas that could cause a risk to the community. Um, my guess is if they haven't already had a cavern um, collapse already. Uh, the initially estimated the area was about 200 by 200 feet. Uh, he said on private land near the Texas Brine Company, police jury, pre uh, police jury President Marty Trish said that, th that in speaking with the Louisiana Department of Natural Resources and the governor's office, he was advised that there was a risk that the slurry area could grow to about the size of 2,000 feet across. So this thing could uh, get huge. Man swallowed by massive sink sinkhole as Typhoon uh, Saloa pounds Taiwan. Reporter nearly taken by second sinkhole minutes later. And uh, they got some big sinkholes going on in Taiwan over this. What is going on? Oklahoma fires destroy homes. Low humidity and strong winds fr Friday help fuel a half dozen wildfires in Oklahoma that have so far burned at least 65 structures and are threatening more. Uh, the largest of the fires just south of Oklahoma City, uh, according, to the, according to the spokesman for the Department of Emergency Management, uh, the metro area is not in danger, but uh, with all the drought, wildfires blaze uh, in parched northwest Colorado. Dry thunderstorms and lightning spark three fires in the Bureau of Land Management uh, in Moffat and Rio Blanco counties, according to a release issued by the Northwest Colorado Fire Management Unit. Worldwide transport of dust particles may have impact on storms, temperatures, and other weather patterns. Uh, high, high up in the atmosphere, half of the dust over North America comes from Asia and elsewhere. And uh, God knows what's floating around up there with all the chemtrails and Fukushima and uh, Chernobyl and uh, nuclear testing and everything else. 
Uh, over to the Extinction Protocol, uh, they've got the story on the Assumption Paris, Louisiana prompts a state of emergency declaration. Of course, many videos out on that. Steam plume seen over New Zealand's White Island volcanic crater. Got another volcano um, gearing up off the coast of New Zealand. Torrential rains turn hills into waterfalls in India. Over 30 dead and 38 missing. They've got some pretty dramatic videos and pictures of that. And of course, uh, death toll from flooding and torrential rain raised 169 in North Korea. Floods which hit part of North Korea. Korea in the past few weeks have killed 169 people and left 400 missing, the state news agency announced on Saturday, sharply updating earlier casualty figures. Uh, from the fire to the floods, over to the watchers. My mouse is messing up. Um, they've got the Curiosity landing on Mars. Uh, should be happening anytime now as I make this video. And North Koreans in desperate need of food after floods. More than 63,000 people left homeless. And serious sandstorms hit Kuwait. Weather stabilizes by the end of this week. Over to the RSOE quick. They've got a few stories. Of course, we got the flash flooding going on in India. Uh, Scotland, just on the border of England and Scotland, uh, heavy rains uh, flooded. There's, they had to evacuate like 30 houses when uh, a river overflowed there. Um, more flash flooding reported out of Wales. A uh, forest fire in the state of Utah, and of course uh, Oklahoma, Montana, Washington, California, all forest fires, and of course the droughts that go on across the country. And finally, a uh, couple of stories off the nuclear stuff, e, e News. Nuclear experts, substantial portion of California could be wiped out for generations by one of the state's new plants. Quote, you have to you can have a release of radioactivity on a scale that no one can really imagine, unquote. Well, I uh, imagine the folks in Japan <clears throat> can't imagine uh, exactly what could happen if there was a meltdown. Uh, Canadian nuclear expert reactor is releasing 200 trillion becquerels of tritium every year, uh, becomes a part of your body and all living things, gives off beta particles which produce damage that can result in cancer, and this is a Canadian nuclear expert reporting on one nuclear power plant in Canada. <coughs> and if you do the math with all the plants across the globe, government released last year's test, last year's test, contamination detected even in the Sea of Japan. Airborne material blamed includes uh, several different uh, prefectures. And they're saying that uh, the air and the wind and the river runoff could have contaminated the Sea of Japan with radioactivity. Um, just ongoing, ongoing insanity. Uh, and finally tonight, if you've been watching my bonsai videos, uh, the bonsai tree is dry. I will probably be putting uh, the primer on it tonight, and uh, I will do the paint video of it um, I have to work 12 hours tomorrow, so uh, probably Tuesday. And uh, then I will compile all those together to make one big video, so I hope I'm not boring you too much with my art stuff. Um, enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks.